twice. Yo, man, you run out of storage? I have to delete all the porn. Are you ready? You want something to hold? The pillow on you? You good? Okay. What the fuck? You threw me off. I'm not gonna say it. What's good, Josh? It's your boy Roy, aka Little Roy TV, and we're back with another video. Now I'm here with a little special guest, so go ahead and tell me your name. Crystal. <laughs> Crystal. Okay. Now we're gonna ask each other random questions. We chose some laptop questions and then some phone questions. So we're gonna go one by one, one laptop, one phone, so we can make it more fun. And um, yeah, that's it. So. Make sure you like the video, comment, subscribe, share the channel, share the video, and follow me on Instagram. So the first one is, what matters to you most in a relationship? Make sure they can hear you. Talk a little loud. Don't whisper. <laughs> That's it. Um. Affectionate? Yeah. Yeah, I would give you that point. Like, it matters to you most in a relationship. It has to be affectionate. Yeah. Cause I don't feel fe like affectionate. I'm not really connected. Then it's like, yeah. There's nothing. Yeah. What is that? Number fourteen. Mm -hmm. And then you can read it. What's the question? Okay. Why did your last relationship end? Why well, did the last one? I thought Loki said what? No, I thought when I was reading it for myself, I thought it said. Alright, why did your last relationship end? Are you gonna this too? Well, that's just for me. Maybe just for you. Alright, fine, I'll answer it. So, what do you ask? Why did your last relationship end? I honestly think age was a big point, of, big part of it. And it was like a separation gap of what she was doing and what I was doing. So I think big age gap is like a big thing. Let's see. Number five. Ooh, okay. Good questions for the phone. How have we changed since we first started dating? How have we changed? You answer it first. For both of us. Yeah, that's the first question. You answer first and I'll answer it myself. How have we changed? No, right here for this one. The phone. Okay. That's a lot too. Um, This is a big one, I could say. In the beginning, I would say I would be a little nervous to argue with you. Cause like, I just never know when like, damn, I piss you off and you might cut me off and just not speak to me. But it's still a beginning, so you'll just be like, you won't speak to me. Cause it kind of low-key happened in the beginning. Like you would go like the days not speaking to me. And I was like, how is that like a relationship? I think now like we're super, Nah, I piss you off. I'm like, alright, whatever. You get pissed off, that's, that's, whatever. I think definitely we're more comfortable with each other, for sure. When did I change my mental? I think it has to do with really my mental. Like, you challenge my nerves. Like, it's not easy dealing with you sometimes. <laughs> I think that's... I'm trying to remember more. I think I'm related back to the beginning because the beginning was like always the hardest when you get with someone. You don't really know each other. 
each other, yet you don't know what matters to each other. So I think the time when you would just freak out, oh, speak to it, or like, what you back, text you, and then you don't do none of that. <laughs> what is wrong? <laughs> to answer the question for myself, no. I have not. What can I do to feel desired? Sorry, you know funny? I would that question myself and I just didn't like the word desired, so I just didn't choose it for myself. What can you do to make me feel desired? What is desire to me? I say 13, but it's not 13. It has to be before that, right? Because I always got my age. By the way, we both like left school. So like, I get my time and age wrong. But when you're 13, that's high school freshman. If you think about it, 13, 14, 15, 16, low key you finish high school. Remember when I told you a guy like that? So I was 15 when I And don't feel bad, because we both got left back in case. Whatever. So I was 15 when I had and you have, you have like, okay, yeah, I forgot you went to school in Florida, so that's why I was like, mm-hmm. you started high school 15. So you also have like a late birthday or whatever the time that's frame was. Losing, you start high school 13, yeah. but if you got back, it'd be 14, but 15, okay. So I didn't say eighth grade, but I was 15. Mm-hmm. And it was this, like is why, this is why I wanted to be before 13. I would say I think I'd be 11 or 12 because. Ideally, if you finish high school on time, it's 17, right? So 17, go back four years, that's 16, 15, 14. I lost my virginity way before high school. It was a freshman in high school. Actually, no, seventh grade. So if you think about that, what is that, 14, 13, 12. So it's really 12, because seventh grade. Because I was in seventh grade. And you know about that stuff? Yeah, like, I knew the girl that I did to, she was older than me, but she also got left back. So, it was kind of weird. I don't know. Because she was in sixth grade. I was in seventh grade. But she was the same age as me. I don't fucking know. Time, like, all that time was yet was, like, confusing. But she was, I was 12. Yeah, so now I think about it's 12. Oh, how can I be a better partner? How can you be a better partner to me? Uh, damn, a better partner. I don't know. I don't think there's no really answer. I think you are a good partner. Like, yeah, there's no real flowing out relationship. I think this is why we're good right now. There's none, like, I feel like I'm still learning. Yeah, same here. I just match it. We don't know about each other. Mm-hmm. But I think it comes, not even through telling us, I think it comes through time. It can be the simplest thing that we'll learn based off doing things. Mm-hmm. So, what do you say? That's what you do. What do you do with the be a part of Yeah, I don't think I have an answer for that. I think it's my answer. Do you have an answer for me? Like, do you think we're kind of in time? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Starting off with a little bit. When 
did you know you could trust me? Simple things, right? It's like you would, uh, sometimes you even see it even now. Like, I really hold doors to like whoever, mm-hmm. whether like, they think or not, it doesn't matter. Just, just I think it's just respecting people because you know, I'm an actually good person. So I just feel like people having kids, ideally, you should just, yeah, I just want to have you know, future kids and also myself just growing up. Too much comfortable. 
not too much against that. I'm like, comfortable out in public now. We goof off. I think we're in our own world. I love when we get to like enjoy our time outside doing like small goofy stuff. Right. Yeah. Alright, so what Oh, look, that was the same question that we had, right? Together, 14. All right, so then, are we gonna keep the same process that we have the same question? Mm-hmm. Give each other a tip? Okay, sure. Whatever, just do it. Okay, so what was the question? Just after we... Sure. Uh, what is your favorite thing we do? All right, so, same for you, what do you think? What is your favorite thing we do? Cuddling. Cuddling? Yeah. Shocker. You know, sometimes you don't want to, but it's okay. Yeah, I do. Alright, alright, that's good. Alright, let me see the phone, because now we all we got phone questions. We got two more questions each from the phone. I got number 22. What has surprised you most about the relationship? When you get to have I still love you 
when you're not your best. Not your best as in what? Like physical appearance or like emotional and all that? Emotional. I feel like physical is like, I don't know, it's like it's weird. Even though I don't think you ever have a baby. Emotional, because I think you just had that like, the other day. I think I can't remember. I'm trying to remember exactly what happened that made me. Yeah, then we had like a, had like a slight little. Yeah. We looked, yeah, the other night. Mm-hmm. When we went to bed. Yeah. When that, you was like, I'm gonna just go home. Then. Yeah, it's okay. I think I just look. I told you, I say this all the time. I look towards the future of all the happy stuff. I want to do with you. So like even when we have bad arguments and I'm frustrated, I'm like, yo, this is it. Like, I don't say we're like we're done, we're breaking up. But like when you're angry, or like I'm angry from my point of view, I'll just be like, I'm frustrated. But I just look to the future. I'm just like, it's gonna be okay. I think that's what makes this relationship a little different and weird in a good way because usually if I get into arguments, I'll be like, oh it's over, but it's just done. But with you, I get mad. And I think about the future. Like, I just like, whatever. I don't even care. I'll deal with her five years from now, two years, ten years, whatever. So I get over it. That's really it. What was watching? No, what's the question? I don't know, go check. What number was it again? 25, 26? No. See you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Uh, like this video, comment, follow me on Instagram if she wants. I may put her Instagram if I want, whatever. See you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to my music channel that I forgot to say in the intro, which I did also film a new music video. So go subscribe to that channel. And um, see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.